for video seven, what we need to do is we need to get vehicles running in the other lanes. And right now we're just gonna stick with one vehicle per lane to keep it really simple. Um, so we're not too complicated. Right now we have a green convertible and I'm just gonna, just for fun, because I really, really, really like to add just a small bit of fun into this, I'm gonna duplicate my green convertible and I'm gonna make it red. And so I can just do that with the bucket and done. Okay. And just to make it interesting, every time that it touches the edge to go back to its location, I'm gonna get it to switch its costume. So under the purple looks palette, uh, there's one called next costume, and I'm just gonna fit that in there. So if touching the edge, go to this location and next costume. So now if I run this, uh, it, it shouldn't be a massive change, but there you go. Just something a little bit of variety. And if any of you want to make yours a little bit more fancy, you can, I'm just doing the simplified version. So it's time now to duplicate this car. So I can duplicate it either there or I can right click on it and duplicate it here. And now I've got two cars. And before we go any further, I'm just gonna change the second car and I'm gonna make this one yellow and I'm gonna make the other one blue. Okay, so just so that you can see that there are indeed um, some different vehicles here. So if I, now that I've duplicated them, if I just go back and hit the green, now where did the other car go? Oh, it's hiding underneath. Okay, that's, that's exactly what you would expect if you were gonna copy and paste something. So I'm gonna go to the blue car. I'm gonna want to put it into this lane instead and I'm gonna leave the code exactly the same, except I'm gonna change these white areas where the numbers are. You'll notice there are five white areas and I will need to change, not all, quite all five, oh sorry, six, but uh, certainly most of them. And I'll need to keep an eye on them as I add more lanes. So step number one is this needs to start in a different location. It shouldn't start down here, it should start up here. And so the location it's at right now where the rear bumper is not quite touching the back wall, the edge, is that location there. So negative 196, negative 197, that's only one pixel off, one tiny little pixel off. But this number here, the Y value, that's got to change. So I'll change that to minus 25. Now some of you like to throw pieces in, I'm just gonna throw that away. Now don't forget that if you're touching the edge, you also have to change this number so that when it hits this wall and teleports back that it also goes to negative 25 okay and so now if I run this there we go now this is functional but a little bit on the too easy side because I can just move my frog around and there's not really any challenge to it so what I can do is I can create a slow lane and a fast lane so I'm going to go to my green vehicle and where I have my change X by three, uh, I'm gonna slow this one down just a bit, so I'm gonna change X by two. And just to add some variety here, oh, that's much more, much more interesting. Okay, so we've got our fast lane, we've got our slow lane, and uh, the one thing that I should just double check is does the new car, yes it does, so the new car, Kills the frog just the same as the old car. Excellent. So, so far we have had great success. So I'm gonna pause this video right now. I'm gonna stop and make a new one next. I wonder how many of you could figure out by just changing the white areas here, how to get a car that goes up in this lane going that direction. So good luck and we'll catch up with you in the next video to see if you made it.